Hey guys, WolfTM2008 here, and welcome to another one of my videos. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can create your own custom keyboard shortcuts to open programs in Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So what we need to do, this is Microsoft's own support page and it just basically goes through the key steps which is what I'm going to show you. Now I do need to highlight this little notes section here. Now the keyboard shortcut it has to be control plus the alt key and then it has to be a key of your choosing now it cannot be the escape key the enter key the tab key the space bar print screen shift or the backspace key all right so just bear that in mind now to try this out i've already created one keyboard shortcut which is to open camtasia funnily, funnily enough you'll have to excuse me i'm uh, suffering a little bit of a cold at the moment so i'll just minimize chrome so I right click to enter properties when it loads as you can see there's a shortcut key option here normally this says none when there's none there but I've set it to control alt and V so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set one for another program that I use quite regularly which is Google Chrome so if I right click go to properties it says none if I press control it automatically comes up with control and alt so I'll hold down alt as well and what I'll do is I shall press now I'm going to do G for Google okay and a normal window to access the internet that's just common in the program now you have to click apply and it will ask you for administrative privileges you need to make sure you have these and depending on your user account control settings it may prompt you to enter the password as well so just bear that in mind okay so at the moment Chrome is open what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that web link because I do need it again. Okay, so I'll do the keyboard combo, which is Control, Alt, and I've set it to G. And as you can see, lo and behold, Google Chrome is actually opening up. Now you can do this for any program, providing that you have the shortcut path, which is why they suggest even doing it on the desktop, so you've got the shortcuts here, obviously. So... That is just a little quick, simple trick to make your life easier in Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. Until next time guys, my name is WolfTM2008, as always. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, it really does mean a lot. Thank you to everybody who has stuck with me this far. And I shall see you later for another video. Okay, thank you, bye bye.